I'm Christopher Eden. I'm a consultant urologist working in Guildford in Surrey and also in London. And my particular interest is prostate cancer surgery and radical prostatectomy performed robotically is the commonest operation that I do. And I'm particularly interested in technical modifications to robotic surgery to try to improve functional results, particularly continence. Um, and I, I've done this through a procedure called retsis sparing prostatectomy, either using the classical approach, posterior retsis sparing or the anterior approach, depending on the location of the cancer, uh, and, and also vessel sparing, which is one of the advantages of retsis sparing surgery, which preserves important arterial inflow into the penis and thereby significantly improves post-operative potency. I think most people would prefer the certainty of surgery, in other words, having the prostate removed and the cancer within it removed, as long as they knew that there wasn't going to be too high a price to pay as a consequence of it. And what I mean by this is specifically as far as the functional results are concerned, bladder and sexual function. And here it's extremely important that you choose a high volume surgeon. So in other words, a surgeon who does at least 100 cases a year. And high volume doesn't guarantee good results, but you can't get the best results without a high surgical volume. And the sort of results that you could expect if you're a man under the age of 70 uh, and you have a BMI under 30, in other words, you're possibly carrying a few pounds, but not obese, uh, is that you'd have about a 1% chance of having a long-term problem with continence. As far as potency is concerned, if you have normal erections, you have both neurovascular bundles preserved, you could expect about an 80% probability of being able to have penetrative intercourse within the first year with or without tablets, with an expectation that as you get further away from the operation, your erections will gradually improve.